Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to part three of Resident Evil 3. You are here with three. I mean, Morris. And at the end of the last part, we did... Ah, flaming dogs. Flaming dogs. That's that's what happened. <laughs> now, we were just making our way slowly, but, uh, but very, very surely through Raccoon City. It's not always... Oh, good, a save room. So glad I traipsed all the way back to the other one in the last part. <laughs> Ah, uh, gunpowder, I like it, I like it already. Uh, as far as I know, you can mix gunpowder to make various rounds, but I'm not sure how the hell that works. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up, I guess. I don't want to waste gunpowder. We are on hard mode, uh, in case you just joined us. I don't know, come on, leave me some ink ribbons here, people. What are we doing here? What are we playing at? Well, I'm not going to save straight away. I don't want to have to do that. I've only got one left. I like to sit on a cushion of about ten, so this is just... <laughs> this is not ideal at all. Yeah, I think the priority for this... Uh, oh, yeah, that is actually... That, 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 I'm so glad I remembered. The priority for this episode is actually to... Um, freaking figure out what uh, the dodge button is. So I'm just going to read <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's let's take a look, shall we? All right, can I can I look, please? We hope you improve your chances to survive. Okay. Quick turn, run button while retreating. So that's down and square, I guess. Or wherever you right, yeah. Emergency escape. When you're trapped by enemies, you can push them away to escape. Press the directional buttons. Action button, cancel button, run. Press all the buttons, right. <laughs> Emergency dodging, as opposed to just, you know, cool, calm, collected dodging. Just before an enemy attacks, you can perform a dodge move to evade it. Press the R1 or R2 buttons. Or press the act. Oh, right, so you've got to be aiming and then you press action. Right. Right, okay. Well, that's it. I can end the episode now. I don't need to know anything else. Getting off. Yeah, I know how to get off. That's fine. <laughs> Map. Oh, press L2. Nice. I did not know that. We're learning, guys. How much crap is there in this thing? Live selection. Oh, I know, yeah, I know that stuff. Event cancelled. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's... Oh, I went back on it. What the hell is the matter with me? Alrighty. Alright, so you can read them. Oh, and they file them instantly. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> The gunpowder and the re- Ah, here we go. Oh, God, guys, this is just beautiful. This is... Ah, oh, I'm getting schooled. I'm enjoying it. Ammunition create- Ammunition creation. Ammunition. What is this? GTA? Various ammunition needs to use the reloading tool and the gunpowder. Tell me what they are, though. I need to know what they are. Gunpowder C is created by mixing A and B. Alright, there are 13 different kinds. What? Aha! Okay, A is handgun. Should I write this down? I suppose I don't need to, because it's already written. <laughs> so B is shotgun shells. Probably going to make those straight away. A and C, grenade flame rounds? Wow. Grenade acid rounds. Magnum rounds. Nice. If you repeatedly create the same kind of ammunition, your skill will be improved, and you will be able to create more power flame. That's pretty friggin' neat, I have to say. I'm liking this. I'm liking this system. <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna, uh, sorry, I keep flipping it. I'm, I'm terrible with this, with this item box. That's just, that's not changing. Alright, so combine these, I'm gonna make some more of these. Then I'm gonna make some of these. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them away, straight away. <laughs> and just kind of, uh, Sorry, they have to be lined up. Just kind of, you know, sit on them, just in case. J-I-C. Alright, well, hopefully I don't die, because I don't have to do all that again. <laughs> hopefully I won't die. That's... That's the new objective for this episode. Oh, jeez. So, yeah. I uh, There are a few things I remember about this game. Don't worry, I'm not going to be... Uh, 
having to constantly, you know, check and recheck where to go and what to do. There are a couple of things that I, I do remember, mostly from the early stages of the game. Uh, as we as we get into it, it's going to be a little more. Let's just make it up as we go along, kind of thing. Can we go in here. We cannot. It's locked with a simple lock. Oh, I don't have my lock pick. I'm the master of unlocking. Oh, uh, well. I'll remember that. I'm sure we'll pick that up eventually. God, there could be any number of items around here. Oh, jeez. Something went down over here. You know a city's gone to shit when the fire hydrants are all over the show. Alright. Let's get in here. Looking well. Oh god. Not good. I remember this. And it's still. Oh, that was the part where I, I had to look away. I'd honestly never seen anything like it before. And that voice. Who does the voice for the nemesis? Okay, this is one of those live-action choices, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. Into the police station. No way am I fighting him this early. Whoa! No way am I fighting him this early. Although that's quite neat. It lets you know that you can dodge him. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Whoa! Okay. I'm not sure why you can't bust in, but... Can I? You know what? I'm not even going to attempt fate. I'm not even going to go and press anything near those doors. Wow, we got a lot of herbs here. I like this. <laughs> Should I like this? Because... I mean, a lot of herbs means a lot of enemies. And I'm just noticing that the door next to me is boarded up. Which was not the case in Resi 2. So perhaps... God, what am I doing with these menus? So perhaps... Um... Oh god, he's giving up trying to get in. That's not good. Yeah, perhaps this is set afterwards. Statue of the Flying Goddess. Well, we know all about that. Spent enough time trying to figure out how to get that thing to work. Okay, so this is this is good. We're, at least we're in familiar territory. <laughs> Didn't say that much. Typewriter. Still no ink ribbons. It's the police station map. Oh, absolutely, I'll take the police station map. <laughs> right, so we can only go in the left side of the police station this time. It doesn't even look like the right side is an option. Well, we got a save room right next to us as well, which is good. What else do we get? <laughs> we got an upstairs, a locked door to the star's office. No doubt we're gonna have to go in there. All right, we got places to go. We got people to see. This terminal controls the security system. I could operate it if I had a star's card. Well, I don't, which is a bugger, but uh, don't want to complicate things too early. So I can't go in this door down here either. No, that's boarded up as well. Wow. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it says, hey, you're not going to be spending g quite as long in the police station this time around. <laughs> you know? Oh, Christ. I'm going to go ahead and put you down straight away soon. I've noticed I've not been given a knife. Oh, Jesus. What is happening? What is happening to me here? I mean, not that I was ever proficient at using a knife, but, you know, it's nice to get a gesture, you know? Someone has made quite a mess in here. These messy zombies. Oh, jeez. Two, three, four, run past. Five. Is he dead? <laughs> oh, I don't even know if he's dead or not. Darn these camera angles. Oh my god, it's that guy. It's that guy from Resi 2. But Leon killed him. Didn't he? 
I also don't like that smashing sound effect. It makes me think like the nemesis just entered. <laughs> He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. Report. <laughs> September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before, before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Darn thieves. Due to the lack of available officers at this time because they're all zombies, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case and deal with the zombies. Signed, Marvin Brenner. September 26th. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I have discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m. where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Took them 10 minutes? Jeez. I've done it in five. Since the city is currently under martial law because of the Zambambos, we are forced to suspend this case. At the time, well, I'm surprised that they don't suspend all of the cases. <laughs> if there's a zombie outbreak, that should take priority. At this time, we'll keep the gems evidence. Sign on. Alright, well, we gotta move. Because I don't like being in this room. At all. Why is the zombie just... Buggering out? He didn't even care. He didn't even care that I'm here. Whoa! That guy's alive. Did you see his head? His head's following me around the room. <laughs> Jeez. Not good. Alright, so this is like some weird evidence room, isn't it? Yeah. Leave anyway. Okay, that's just open. <laughs> and I guess that's one of the gems. We're halfway there. Please don't be someone around here. Don't troll me like that. Yeah. Is this open as well then? It's locked with a number based lock. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Now, there's probably a few, you know, 100,000 combinations at least. A million probably. Uh, okay, so. Two, three, zero, four. Nope. Ah. Well, you know, the odds were against me, I guess. <laughs> I would have loved to have got that, though. Hey, you know what? Sometimes I just figure these things out. Now, I hate having zombies near save rooms. So I'm just going to go ahead and dispose of these. Good. Excellent. Excellent work. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, I think I can... I think I have an excuse now. To test this bad boy out. Oh jeez, wow, wow, he is... He got a pace on him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I like it. I can get out with it. I can get out with it. Alright, you're gonna have to go down as well, buddy. This guy's not hitting me. He's not hitting me. Surprised Leon hasn't taken all these guys out yet. Come on. What is he what is he playing at? Okay. Whoa. See these cameras? Oh, there we go. oh, that guy died pretty quickly. I like that. All right, so let's just check the map. What are we, what are we working with here? We got a room down there in the corridor. That's probably. I imagine that's where the key is, and then we go upstairs. So, uh, should we do that? Or should we save? Don't know. I feel like I should just do this now while I'm here. Yeah. No? Looks like a one-time only thing. By the way, if you guys want to drop in hints of stuff and where to go and what to do and what to pick up and what to watch out for, that's fine with me. <laughs> I'm going to need all the help I can get. If not more. Hello, Mr. Shiny. Stars card, nice. I love me some key items. Alright, I remember this room. Ho oh! uh, ho! Were these always here? 
There's nothing you can do with the fireplace. Is there not? This is really weird, like, because there's... This area was in, you know, Resi 2, and yet some things are different, some things are the same. I'm not understanding the, the timeline in this. It looks like there was a recent accident here. Also, the number of corpses indicates an accident. No, come on! I'm gonna have to come back here. Ah, uh, make a note, make a note, ladies and gentlemen, make a note. All right, well, you know what? Seeing as there's a few ink ribbons there, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see. Ah, uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. I'm already loving it, actually. I'm already kind of enjoying the suspense. The familiarity and yet the, the whole unease of it. It's kind of, it's, it's a weird experience for me, but it's great. <laughs> I love it. All right. I'm going to have to pause it now. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next part, guys. I will see you later.